Welcome back, guys, to another movie review. Today we got Godzilla, X Kong, The New Empire. We're going to start off here spo spoiler free. What'd yeah. you think of it? Overall, I think it's a great movie to watch if you're just looking for CGI fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, we just watched the movie not even 30 minutes ago. We're, every time these reviews, they come Fresh. out immediately as we watch the movies. Mm -hmm. I had fun. You know, it, it is not the greatest movie ever, and you shouldn't go in expecting to be the movie of the year because it will. These kind of movies won't really ever be. But it was very, it was very cheesy. It was like if you have ever seen a Power Ranger episode, it's basically that. But I, I it was, it was all right. Me, I thought it was awesome. I <laughs> loved it. I was going in expecting this type of movie where like the char the human characters wasn't going to care about them. We didn't. All that mm -hmm. stuff sucks. Yeah. But like, I came here for Godzilla and for Kong and for action. And I was satisfied. I was smiling the whole time. I was laughing. You were laughing. The best part of the movies, King Kong. King Kong. He is the he best part of the movie. There is there's a lot of scenes with just mm -hmm. him, and it is makes the movie amazing for those certain points. Of the it's film. definitely his movie. He's the main character. He's the best character. Uh, Godzilla is more of a side character, I'd say. Like the whole movie, he spends powering up and just mm -hmm. destroying other monsters. Which, like we talked about, there's not just one boss fight, one fight. There's like. Fights sprinkled throughout the movie, like which just fights. keeps you in, yeah. in, engaged. And Godzilla, there's a reason he's the king, and they show it in this movie. Like, he just destroys everybody. But another good part about the movie was, I mean, the CGI was good. Like, oh, if, yeah. the, if the CGI is even slightly bad in this kind of movie, the movie would be unbearable to watch. Yeah. Like, that just makes you, like, wonder, like, how are Marvel movies sometimes? Their CGI is so bad when, like, you watch this. There wasn't, like, a scene at all where I was like, that looks fake. Yeah, it, surprisingly. I yeah. was like, dude, this could be real. You know what I mean? So it looked mm -hmm. really great. Um, action was great. It just the humans in there, like, like we need them in the movie because that's how the, the movie moves forward. But they are so useless. And the daughter from the last film is the most. She's the Messiah, bro. She, Come on. Yeah, she, <laughs> that's kind of a spoiler, I guess. But I appreciate this more with the humans than Godzilla vs Kong. There were so many humans in that, and they mm -hmm. were in it for so much longer. So I think they dialed it back in this movie a tiny bit, which made it more enjoyable. But the stuff they chose to do with certain things, like you've seen in the trailer, like the civilization, all that stuff, we didn't really need any of that. That was just kind of there, yeah. and it was whatever. And they don't talk. They're but the, the daughter, is uh, she doesn't do anything, and she does everything. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she does absolutely nothing this whole film, and everyone thinks she's the greatest character, human, savior of all time. They think she's Godzilla or something. Yeah. And like, oh, the, the worst part of the movie I don't is the chemistry. The chemistry in the movie is zero to zero. There's the mother, daughter, feel nothing. With any other side characters, feel absolutely nothing. They really try to have emotion with yeah. the, the characters. And you just stare in there like, there's... They're just there. Yeah, they're, they're really just in... They're in the way. They're yeah. in the way the whole time. I would say Kong and Mini Kong. I think his name's Suko in the movie. Oh, or, uh, they, had, they had way more chemistry. They had so much... Yeah. They, they were way they were real mother, They're not even real. And I was like, these guys are connected. Yeah. Because, like, um, you see, like, in the trailer where, like, he's like... King Kong finally meets his uh, his, his kind, and he gets he gets for a rude awake, awakening where it's like, holy shit, these guys are different. Like he went to the wrong neighborhood, basically. Yeah. He was like, oh my god, like, these are not how I I thought they would be. And we can see how King Kong is so much more different than any of the other monsters. Like Godzilla is he just attack, 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 attack. King Kong, he's just like he has emotion. He's like mm -hmm. basically human. And he was a out of everything, he had the most human aspect of the movie. Yeah. He was a go goddamn gorilla. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how they do that in this movie. That seems they did that impossible. So I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like the Planet of the Apes movies with Kong. Like, though we're gonna go into spoilers now. So the villain Scar King, and and then in the movie, you find out Shimu, who he's controlling. Scar King, I thought he was pretty cool. I mean, obviously he didn't have like the biggest presence. Like, you if he was one on one with Kong or Godzilla without Shimu, he would get totally destroyed. Yeah. But uh, as a pair of them fighting, I thought it was a dope fight at yeah. the end. And then he comes out. He's, su he's super quick. He has a good agility. Mm -hmm. He has a dope spine weapon, as I think it's shown in the film maybe, yeah. or in the trailer. Um, and he, like, he's very good. at He knows how to fight. But like, King Kong, his first fight is with King Kong, and King Kong would ultimately win. We didn't really get to see it. He, got, he just got one good punch off, basically, and he was like, then he called the fuck. He called the the ice hound yeah. on him. It showed that King Kong is just a superior fighter. So one on one, he would lose against Godzilla. Absolutely, <laughs> he would get so shit destroyed. on. So it's just like he wasn't like threatening. Like he wasn't threatening at all. Obviously, when he has the ice, the ice Godzilla or Shimu, Shimu, yeah, Shimu, like he's he's threatening, but like he's controlling it. It's not like they're friends. So it's like yeah. you can tell one. They were very prominent showing that this is the thing that controls him. Like yeah, like Kryptonite to Superman, mm -hmm. which is interesting. I didn't think that's how that. I don't know how that even that works, but he was just controlling him. And like once he loses it, like 
he was, everyone knew he was, that he was he getting was turned Denzel, on. Like, yeah. it was like, as okay. soon as he lost that, like they killed him in 1.1 seconds. So Which I thought like, was kind of lame. I, I yeah, I guess, but I enjoyed it. Um, everything about the fights, I wouldn't change anything about it. it like you said, a ton of destruction, oh, ton of destruction. That's another highlight of this movie. Is like you really see like if this is like real, show destruction across everywhere, the world. Everywhere. As soon as they get up, like everyone's just dying. They don't show the dying part really, but it's like, man, I'd be so screwed up if that ever happened over here. Like no one, everyone, we live in constant fear because yeah. your whole entire country would be gone within one one one, one boss fight. Yeah, really the worst did, parts for me was the um, civilization stuff. I really didn't care for it. The, it just felt like they had to throw that in there mm-hmm. just to um, bring out Mothra and yeah. that whole thing. Like I like seeing Mothra come back because yeah, she, cool. she was in the second movie. She, but the um, visuals were really good. Yeah, the vi- visuals with Mothra were cool, but like all that stuff with like the Messiah stuff, the no talking stuff, it just kind of dragged it down. And um, uh, the, one of the biggest things that bugged me was the teleporting we could say in the movie of like how the little girl went from one place to another with yeah. Mothra. Like she would just show up and like, they'd have this like big shot of her. Like, Oh, she's like the Messiah. Like literally something. like the sun's behind yeah. her. Like she just like walking, like she, like she's like an angel or yeah. something like, but she literally just like was spectating. She was just, just like us watching the movie. Yeah. And she's, and then everyone's like, Oh my God. Yeah. yeah like, dude, like, that's so okay. irritating. Like she has no, not like nothing. Yeah. Important. And the only other little, I guess nitpick I could say is the, the movie ends really fast. Yeah, it does. I, I would have wanted to see after they killed Scar King and stuff of like, how Kong and Godzilla were like, oh, like, okay, see you later. Or just, like, something, you know? Yeah. But instead, it's just, like, no, they're just back up apart, and it's just, he's going to bed. I yeah, was like, the first, I'd say, like, 30, 40 yeah, minutes. 40 minutes. Were, you were like, okay, we got to. Yeah. Was there like, was little stuff of Kong here and there that was really cool, but for the most part, you're like, okay, let's get this going. I'd say once they start getting going, like, once Kong meets the mini Kong, ever it picks up after yeah. that. So if you can get through that, it will be fine. The, com- uh, the comedy with the movie, there is... There's two really funny ones, yeah. and there's one like human one that's maybe funny with the the comedic relief guy. He had maybe like one little laughter yeah. for me, but the both the both comedic parts of the movie were by King Kong, and they're yeah. probably within five minutes of each other. Um, there's not really much in the movie. It's just fighting, the bat, uh, great fighting, terrible human uh, interactions, terrible chemistry. Uh, movie ends really quickly. If you if you want just to see Godzilla and King Kong fight, that's what you're going for. Like I did, yeah. you're gonna love it. Go on TikTok and it. watch the highlight clips because yeah. all you really you need. Yeah, I, I loved it. I mean, I know most people would be like, I wanted more. But no, no, I got yeah. what, I got what I wanted. <laughs> okay, I, th- I think that's it. Basically, everything. Uh, tell us what you think about the movie, and tell us if you watch the review and then come back and see if we're right, see who's wrong. But with that, with that, I give the rating. Of, I'll give it a I'll give it a six point eight. Six point eight. Six point eight. All right, I'm going to give it a nine. <laughs> it, uh, it was better than Godzilla vs. Kong for me. All right, with uh, those two scores, I'll give it an overall rating of 7.9 out of 10. Uh, our next movie is going to be The Fall Guy. Uh, it's going to be a little break, a couple weeks, but The Fall Guy is going to be our next movie. Okay, thank you, guys.